Let me show you all display settings available on Motorola Edge 60 Fusion. So first we're gonna go to the settings and over here let's go to display. And of course at the top we have the brightness level and adaptive brightness of the screen which is the automatic brightness so if you want to adjust the screen brightness you can tap over here in order to show this bar and you can move left and right to make the screen darker or brighter there is also the adaptive brightness as i mentioned this allows you to automatically change the brightness depending on the environment that you are in right now there is also the dark theme which can be easily enabled and disabled. And if you go to the dark theme, you can also create a schedule so that the dark theme can be enabled and disabled automatically. We can adjust colors of the display. We can make them look more natural, radiant, or vivid. And there is also the color temperature adjustment option. We have the display size and text. And over here we can change the text size as well as, of course, the display size. There we go, this is how it looks like. Besides that, we also have the option to make the text bold, as well as we can enable the high contrast color. Uh, sorry, the high contrast text, not color. Um, besides that, we have the display refresh rate option, where we can set the refresh rate to be 60 or 120 hertz. We have the full screen option, which allows you to show or hide the camera cutout for specific apps. If you tap over here in the top right corner on these three dots, then you can turn on full screen for all apps or turn off for all apps. Besides that, you should be able to find the auto rotate screen option. So you can rotate the screen with this option being enabled and the color contrast option where we can set the contrast to be default, medium or high. And once again, the high contrast text option. We have edge lights. So here we can enable or disable edge lights and you can tap on the setting icon in the bottom left corner in order to jump to the edge lights setting where you can choose the color when uh, edge lights should be activated, when it should be shown and you can also change the behavior. Besides that, we have the night light option which is the blue light filter for reading. This can also be automated by creating a schedule. We have the flicker prevention, screen timeout option, so you can choose when the screen should timeout after a specific selected amount of inactivity. And there is also the attentive display option, which allows you to prevent the screen from turning off if you are looking at it. The screensaver option, which is actually enabled by default. So we have a bunch of um, different screensavers that we can use. The screen recorder options, so you can customize uh, the um, features of the screen recorder, such as the resolution, the frame rate. You can also set up the time limit and file size limit, and you can show or hide touches on the screen while you are recording. And some other options which are, which have been additionally um, placed over here, such as the three finger screenshot gesture, which can be activated or deactivated over here the swipe to split the gesture and the smart connect for connecting with a computer, tablet, motobots or smart TV. And that's about it. If you're looking for more visual options such as the wallpaper etc then of course in that case we want to go to personalize and over here we can change the wallpaper, theme, font, icon shape, colors of the system, we can customize the lock screen, we can change the layout of the home screen. We can adjust the fingerprint animation. We can change the fingerprint animation. And we also have, once again, edge lights options. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.